Okay, so the first thing I've done is I've edited my face mask on smartmockups.com. Discovered that the customized menu lets me change like the colors of the band, and that's awesome. And I'm going to download it. I'm going to do medium. You should do medium or high. And it will probably save to your downloads folder, but if you use the arrow, you can click show in folder, find where it is. So it's in my downloads. Uh, then I have a picture pulled up on Unsplash and you click download free. Um, there are different size options, but I should be good. So show in folder, it is also in my downloads, excellent. So one thing I could do, uh, I actually want to put the face back on this little girl. Uh, I'm going to right click and open that in Photoshop. Other way you can do it is from Photoshop, you would hit file, open. And now I'm also going to file, open my, let's see, downloads, smart mockup. And I just stole this pattern off the internet for today. Um, and one thing that's important to know is that checkered background is not part of it. It's the standard like clear background thing for Photoshop. You can change it, but we're not going to. I'm gonna hit Control A on my computer. That's the shortcut for select all. Other thing you could do is use this selection tool over here, the marquee, and drag a box over everything. But I have Control A, so everything is selected. If I hit Control plus sign, I can zoom in. You can kind of see there's like little, we call it marching ants, um, moving dots on the edge. So I have everything selected. I'm going to hit Control C for copy. Come over here, Control V for paste. And then this top icon in the toolbar that lets you just grab things and move them around. And a thing that will be really useful is you need your layers visible. So if Photoshop on yours doesn't have the layers panel, you're going to go to Window, Layers. Apparently F7 is the shortcut because I want to, I can turn on and off uh, layer one. I'm gonna change the opacity, make it a little bit more see-through, and use control plus sign to zoom in. And then I can hold and stretch with the selection tool. Oh, what did I do? Control Z, undo whatever I did. Okay. I want to stretch this. A little bigger, make sure it's below her chin. And then if you want to, so Photoshop is backwards from every other program in the world. So if you want to stretch it and have it skew wider but not taller, you actually have to hold down shift. As I said, it's backwards from every other program in the world. So if I hold shift, it will unconstrain and allow me to skew things that below her chin. I'm holding shift this whole time. Okay, so now I've got the mask fitted to her face and that looks good. I can put the opacity back up in my layers panel. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is create a mask so I can hide the ear straps instead of deleting them. So if I need them back, I can do it. So I'm clicking on layer one, clicking this icon in the bottom of the layers panel that looks like a box with a black circle in it. And if I click here, I have a white frame around my layer. Here I have a white frame around what's called my mask. I'm going to then grab the paintbrush tool, a black paintbrush while the mask is selected, will hide things, and a white paintbrush, I'm switching colors with this little arrow over here, a white paintbrush will reveal things. I'm just gonna hit undo a couple times, get my black paintbrush, and if you're doing this and you realize you're painting black, look, I, un I hit control Z so many times that there's no more mask. So get rid of that, that was wrong. Make sure I add my mask back. It's the rectangle with the circle in it. I want a black paintbrush. Make sure my little white frames around my mask. And hide whatever looks funny. And if I make a mistake, I can reveal those pixels really easily by switching back to the white paintbrush. So I think that should be enough to get you going. And this video has got to be almost over. I only get five minutes, so how do I stop sharing? All right.